What's up everybody, East Coast 360 here, and today I got a little quickie for you. Everybody loves a quickie. And uh, I'm going to be showing you guys the new unidirectional network mod brought to you by Oxide. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's been working on this mod for a while, and a couple of us have uh, gotten a chance to play around with it in the uh, dev test, but we obviously weren't allowed to talk about it. And uh, it's, it's a really cool mod. It, it adds a lot of possibilities to the game. Different ways for you to place uh, different kinds of roads. And it it's just adds to the possibilities. And I'm going to get right into it here. Show you when you bring up the road menu. You have your normal roads, which were pretty much the last one would be high density streetcar avenues. And you'll see we got two more here. We've got two lane roundabouts four lane roundabouts click the arrow and you'll see we got low density one-way streets medium density one-way streets high density one-way roads and then we have different kind of ramps one lane ramps uh, also we have two lane ramps for the freeways two lane freeways elevated uh, there's just so many different additions now that we have two lane ground to elevated freeway uh, what else we got here two lane elevated freeway four lane freeway four lane ground to elevated freeway and four lane elevated freeway sounds a little confusing at first when you're looking at the menu with all these new options but it's really not that difficult I'll try to give you the basic rundown of how they work now um, you'll see I set up a city here and running along the outside of the city you'll notice the, the two-lane one-way road and that is the freeway uh, one of the freeways that you could place now to be specific it is let's see it's the two-lane freeway and you'll see I also have the elevated version of it um, where it runs into each other let me see where I put that yeah here you can see a little portion of it where I got the bridge going this part here would be the elevated freeway and I think I have a bigger stretch of it let's see uh, here shows this is the ground freeway that runs underneath so you could use the tools to lower and raise the roadways yeah here's here's the two lane elevated freeway and you'll see that connected into the ground for a uh, version of it right here that's where those um, connections come into play the what, what was it ground it was two lane ground to elevated yeah this this part here so this is where I would need to use this part pretty much right in here to connect these two so you're just gonna have to get used to it to play around with those it's pretty pretty easy once you get the hang of it and then uh, you'll see the ramp I got going here this is a one lane elevated to ground ramp so that would be let's see one lane ground to elevator ramp that would be this one here for this stretch and then this part here is pretty much the ground ramp only and let me show you how to do that real quick just to I'll take this out so pretty much I want to build a new ramp coming off the freeway let's see we'll do it from this view so we got the two lane elevated freeway so our first step is going to be an elevated ramp that would be we could do this one two lane ground to elevated we're going elevated to ground but it's just, it's the same thing let's see we're going to do a arced road arced ramp it's too sharp and you got to drag it in the direction that you want it to go because if we were to drag it this way, it would be a up lane. Um, yeah, let me show you real quick. See how it'd be facing this way. If we did it like this, 
see it. the road layout goes in the direction that you drag it. So let's get rid of those real quick. Actually, the easier way for me that I've learned to do it is to start from the ground portion of the ramp. Uh, Two-lane freeway ramp. So we'll put it to here. So then we got the ground ramp going to the elevated freeway. Two lanes, and that's what we're going to need. Two lane, ground to elevated. Run it from here. And of course, it's not going to cooperate. I think I have the, the right tool. There we go. So now, the traffic just come off the exit here. Two lane, merge right into the avenue. Like that. I could bulldoze that and clean it up, but I'll just let it go for now. You guys get the idea. Um, I also have some ramps set up over here. And the one the one thing that I can advise is like when you guys you could either set it up have a plan going down you know initially uh, how you want the road set up to be or you could see what kind of traffic problems develop in your city and then you could add the different kind of roads and ramps where you see fit that's pretty much what I did with this city here you'll see a ramp coming right from the city entrance comes in from the region here they could hop right on the ramp, take the two-lane freeway around, and then you'll see an entrance uh, from the industrial area where they could run up, get on that freeway. You'll also see I have the uh, one-way roads. This is a four-lane road, one way, running from my industrial area here over to the I'm sorry, my residential area over here into the industrial area. So anybody that's coming this way, they're going to have to turn, as you can see there. And I'm sure you guys are wondering, what is this railway looking thing here? That's another mod made to you by Opie. And uh, I really don't want to get too much into that now. I'm going to make a separate video on that. But, uh... It's, it's a really cool mod just came out it replaces the maglev so that's all really I wanted to say about that one but make sure you sub to me and uh, I'll have that video up hopefully soon maybe even later on today we'll see what happens but uh, as for the Udon mod the unidirectional network mod it's really cool as the roundabouts this is a four lane roundabout also one way so you're not going to see any two-way traffic there that just opens up to possibilities uh, instead of having like a four-way intersection or a T intersection you guys could place one of those down I think there's what two two lanes and also four lanes those are pretty easy to lay down I'm show you right here uh, if I got some open space it's just like that and also you'll see the arrows and if we flip flop it that way, the directions change. So just be careful when you're placing this stuff. M might have to place a couple just to get used to it, to get uh, used to the one way stuff. Like I said, let me show you again with the one way low density road or street. Drag it that way, arrows go that way. Drag it that way, arrows go that way. So that's just something to keep in mind. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's the basics of this mod. It's an awesome mod. You can download it from uh, Simtropolis. I'll link it into the video description. The one thing that you're going to probably spend the most time getting used to is making the ramps. Um, it's going to take a little bit of practice just to get used to the different connections. But once you get it set up, it's really easy. You just have them linking off your regular streets. And it, it just adds to the possibilities. Very clean looking. And uh, oh, by the way, it's offline only. So that's one thing you're going to have to deal with. But it seems like everybody's pretty much playing offline anyway now since it was released. So that's it. 
It's called the Unidirectional Network, UDON for short, brought to you by Oxide. I'll link it in the description. Guys, be sure to sub. East Coast 360. Peace.